You know, Margaret, as the uh, CEO of Synchrony Financial, you are one of only two women leading big banks in this country. How do you feel about that special status and the responsibility that goes with it? I feel I have a huge responsibility. There are just not enough women in big leadership positions. And I think it's my job now that I've succeeded to make sure I'm doing everything I can to pull more women up. And I'm happy to say I have a fairly diverse leadership team. My marketing leader is a woman, my CIO is a woman. Uh, so we have big leaders in our organization. Do you think women make better leaders or good leaders? I'll put you on the spot. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I do think women make better leaders. And I think part of why we make we are better leaders is I think we're problem solvers and I think we always look for the best answer and it doesn't always have to be our answer. So I think we tend to uh, bring teams together, really solve problems in a way that uh, we get to the best idea. I'm not so sure that always happens uh, with men. I understand that you are very serious about mentoring women uh, to, and encouraging them uh, to, you know, to be leaders. What's the most important advice you give them? Women are still hesitant. It, it shocks me that in this day and age we have women who second guess themselves. The number of women who are very successful, who come in and ask for advice and are afraid to take the next step is shocking. And I, I just look back, I'm like, how could we have done this? How could we not have these great women feeling so much more confident? And so a lot of what I mentor on is go for it. Go for the job. It sounds like you're looking to hire leaders. So what are the traits you're looking for when you're hiring? People who can work in big teams, decision make. People can make decisions. I think that's a very important leadership tra trait that they don't just keep thinking, thinking, thinking. You need to move. So I think people can make decisions. People who can attract talent. So people who are themselves a magnet to attracting talent. Um, and, and in that, really believing in diversity and, and driving diversity in the organization. Your family history is very interesting. Uh, your father was a New York City policeman. All five of your siblings are either in law enforcement or married to someone who is. What motivated you to a break with family tradition and to take a completely different path? You know, my father, when I told him I wasn't going to be in the NYPD, he said you should maybe try the FBI, by the way. <laughs> Um, I said, no, Dad, I think I want to try something else. I was the first in my family to go to college. I often feel that I just had a different vision for myself to really get out there and, and be something. The good news is my father was always very, very, very supportive of me. Um, and uh, a big part of my, um, I think, the, who I am is actually driven by my dad. What's the best advice you've ever gotten? You know, my dad worked really hard was a New York City policeman and always had to work two or three jobs. And uh, the work ethic that my father, I think, gave all of his children is really a big part of who we are. The other thing my dad said is to, to never forget where you are and where you come from and who you are. And I think that one of the things you'd probably hear about me is I'm a very down-to-earth CEO. And I think part of that is I really try to connect with everyone in my organization, no matter what their role. And I think that's advice that I take you know, going forward, even as I'm a public CEO.